Columbus Paintball. Experience the fun at G-Force Adventure Center. Wilson Street Brewer. Jim Churchill along with Mark Paulette and our Basketball Night on Ticket TV broadcast team. Starting lineups being announced. We're going to get to those starting lineups in just a second. But first, we gave you the coaches' interviews. Our pregame coaches' interviews are brought to you by the Computer Doctor. Need PC or Mac repairs? Computer Doctor has you covered. Give them a call at 862-7019 or visit HamdenComputer.com. All right, the starters in this one. First for the visitors, Connor Crawford, senior guard. He'll be out there for Peter Austin. Also in the starting lineup, another senior, Hunter Curtis, Austin Harris, another senior guard for the Eagles, Darby Berry, a senior forward, and Jackson Curtis, a senior forward as well. So five seniors in the starting lineup for the Ellsworth Eagles. For the Herman boys, their starting lineup looks like this. Jaden Henderson, a junior guard. Wyatt Gogan, a junior forward. Trey Brown gets the nod in the guard spot. He is just a sophomore. Eli Reed, another junior, he'll be at forward. And Zach Tubbs, the big junior forward as well for coach Mark Reed. Of course, one name we didn't mention was Isaac Varney, senior forward, very talented player, one of the best in the state and he is out with a foot injury so we are ready to go and they're going to redo that toss jeff paul who is an outstanding baseball player at the university of maine he's going to toss it up here and it's going to be won by the eagles darby berry with it gets it off to his teammate there hunter curtis this is Austin Harris out top. Connor Crawford, who's the quarterback, was the quarterback for Ellsworth football. He's going to fire one up. That's off the back of the iron. Long rebound into the hands of Curtis. That's Jackson Curtis, a 1,000-point scorer. Trinity Montigny on the girls' side also getting her 1,000th point. That shot is missed from the right side by Austin Harris. And the rebound down to the Hawks. Now Herman, we are in the Hawks Nest. Herman AD, Rick Sinclair reminded me it was the Hawks Nest, not the Crow's Nest, as I called it yesterday. Come on, Jim, you gotta be a little better yeah, than that. Gotta know where you're at. Quite the vantage point, too, from today's camera. You can see just how high we are. It's a unique perspective of this gym here in Herman. It is a straight shot down. Shot is blocked in the lane, taken there by Jaden Henderson, but the Eagles come flying out of the pack. Crawford thought about the three, goes to Hunter Curtis. Now back to Crawford. Here's a drive by Hunter Curtis, kick out right side. Harris shot up and off, no good, and the officials are going to get together, and that is going to be a charge going against Hunter Curtis. Right here, he was thinking of getting to the rim mark, and then last second when he saw the pressure coming there, tried to deal it to a teammate. Yeah, and a little tough too, that stained wood. There's, there's no cylinder down there to see exactly where the defender's at. Hawks walk it up into the front court. Eli Reed, the coach's son, has it briefly. Now Tubbs on the near side. They try to get it inside to Reed, but they do not connect. Bounce pass goes across the end line. So a slow start in this one, Mark. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if, if we just get half the game that these two teams played the last time they met at Katsi Fikas Gym down in Ellsworth, we'll be in for a treat today because that one, Herman was leading by four points with about 19 seconds left. And then a, a free throw, a missed free throw, kick out three, four-point play. I saw Ellsworth edge the Hawks by one point. 50 to 49 was the final score down there in that first matchup. Harris backs it out. Now Crawford. Left side of the floor, here's Jackson Curtis, fakes the three, puts it to the deck. Back out to Harris, holds the ball high. Herman fans exerting on their defense, pass deflected, picked up by Harris. And Crawford, it's been a very lengthy possession here for Ellsworth without a shot, almost a minute. Curtis picks up the dribble, looking for help, fall away jumper, and that's too strong. Man, it's going to be tipped out of bounds. It's going to go off the Eagles. Hunter Curtis 
knocking it into the Ellsworth bench. And we have played about two and a half minutes without a point. Of course, Super Bowl 54 coming up tomorrow. Normally in Super Bowls, you're used to that little stop and start at the beginning of the games. Teams trying to feel each other out, don't want to make any mistakes. It's kind of where we're at today. Neither team really able to penetrate the other's defense, get anything going. Speaking of the Super Bowl, 92.9 FM on your radio dial. We've got extensive Super Bowl coverage coming up tomorrow on the ticket. Here's Reed in the lane, goes left side Tubbs. He left the jumper from the baseline short and a collision after the rebound by Jackson Curtis. The personal foul is going to go against Eli Reed. Good crowd on hand here for this one, the rematch. Tell you what, the WA Raiders have uh, snuck up on people this year. We should have known out of the gate they played Ellsworth in the first game of the season. Ellsworth highly touted. I believe that game was in Ellsworth and Washington Academy winning that one. And they are now 12-5 and five after a win last night. All right, Ellsworth. Playing a little ball possession here in these last couple of possessions. Here's a spin in the lane. The take by Harris uses the left hand and lays it in. And finally, the ice is broken. Nice move there using the spin right around the free throw line to shed the defender, get into the lane. Only took, what, three and a half minutes. We're on the board. We get rolling here. Pace will pick up. Reed between the circles. Two dribbles to the left. Hands it off to Jaden Henderson, junior guard. Here's Gogan. Gogan drives, puts up the floater, and it goes. <laughs> Tied at two here in the first quarter. Harrison Gogan with the buckets. Harris is going to try another one, and he'll hit. Lids off the basket now. Austin Harris with all four of the Eagles' points. On the right side for the Eagles, Trey Brown. Here's Reed trying to get around Darby. Barry puts up the left-handed shot. That's off the back of the rim, no good. And Barry with the board. Jackson Curtis brings it up the right side. He's guarded by Tubbs. Tubbs with the assignment. He'll be following Jackson Curtis all over this floor here this afternoon. There's a pass inside. Darby Berry turns, fires, a little too strong off glass, and flying in for the rebound is Eli Reed. Gogan to Brown. Brown steps into that one but misses it. And the weak side rebound going to Zach Tubbs. Here's Tubbs. He'll fire up a three and hit. Zach Tubbs is very impressive on the football field as the fullback for the Hawks. There's a shot blocked by Henderson. Harris is trying to make it three in a row, but the sophomore Henderson with the block and now a collision, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Here's the three by Zach Tubbs. He's a big guy, Mark, but showing his range right there. Yeah, he can step outside, and you look at the score, five to four. We're, you know, two and a half, uh, five and a half minutes into this ball game. You got to think that this benefits Herman right now, the pace of play, because they're a team that likes to dig in on the defensive end. Obviously, without Isaac Varney in this game, their offensive star. Ellsworth, the team, they scored 84 points their last time out. So held to just four so far through almost six minutes of this game. You'd certainly think this is benefiting Herman. Into the ball game for Ellsworth, Javon James, as that one rims out from the left side. One and done for the Eagles in that possession. Peter Austin sending a couple of his players to the scorer's table. Tubbs working outside the arc again. Lost control of the dribble, but quickly regained control. Pace may pick up, but I think we are headed for a low scoring affair as that ball is knocked out of bounds here. Yeah, and it, it does make sense because we have talked about how strong Herman is on the defensive side of the ball. And when I was talking with Coach Mark Reed pregame, he was talking about how this team is still trying to find their way after Isaac Varney has gone down with the injury. It's been a tough stretch for Herman. They've lost two in a row, really two surprise losses to teams uh, Orno and Foxcroft, two teams that you would really expect them to beat. 
Herman in a bit of a precarious situation now, hovering right around three or fourth in the standings in the north. They're not accustomed to having to fight it out for that first round by in the last couple of years. Yeah, that's uh, Orno score. Pretty one-sided in favor of the Red Riots. Up and under move there by Tubbs. James coming from behind, thought he had the block, but he gets a piece of the arm of Tubbs. And Zach Tubbs will go to the line for two free throws. He seems so far in the early going to kind of be taking over as that focal point of Herman's offense. First foul on Javon James. The dip and the shot is good. Second free throw by Tubbs, all met. Nice smooth motion there for a big man at the line. Nice touch. Jackson Curtis looking inside for Hunter Curtis. Nice bounce pass down along that left side, but unable to convert there for the Eagles. The miss there by Adam Inman. Almost too easy right there, too wide open. So the foul is going to go against Jaden Henderson. That's going to be his second. And we saw Inman in the game against Caribou. He was quite strong off the bench for the Eagles. They go inside. Here's Hunter Curtis shot up and off. Inman offensive rebound. Shot goes off the bottom of the backboard. James had a shot at it. And the Eagles come up empty. Eli Reed with another board. The lead still at three. We're under a minute here in this first quarter. Jim Churchill, Mark Paulette, live from Herman High School. We are hanging right over the floor, as are the fans. Here at Herman, here's a drive by Gogan. Had a lane to the hole, but the ball is going to be knocked off his leg. Let's take a look at this. We thought it was going to be Herman basketball. As Javon James got his hand in there. I guess the question is, did it go off Gogan's leg? Yeah, it looks like he lost possession at the end and just kind of inadvertently it bounced off his ankle almost as he was up in the air. Nice slash to the basket, but just couldn't finish. Here's Inman at the other end. Can't convert again. Javon James comes away with it. His shot is blocked by Gogan, and it's ripped out of there by Brown. Herman's living on the edge right now. Ellsworth getting a lot of chances underneath the basket, but just not able to convert that Herman defense really able to converge under there, cause the pressure needed. All right, Hawks looking for the final shot. Henderson, time winding down, four seconds. Here's the shot up by Henderson, and he's gonna travel with it. Turnover Hawks. So the Eagles will have exactly three seconds to get a shot off here. Five points in this first quarter for Zach Tubbs. Inman into Jackson Curtis. He certainly has the strength, but he's going to hit it off the uh, divider that bounce off up there. Well, it caught the uh, divider. They dropped down for gym class or activities here in the gym. So the Eagles score just four points in the first quarter. They trail at 7-4. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Are you tired of dealing with pest issues? Mainly Pest treats both residential and commercial accounts for ants, roaches, bed bugs, and rodents with all the same attention to detail. We offer both traditional and eco-friendly plans to ensure you the best in quality of service. Mainly Pest is a Maine-based, family-owned company, and we know what's important and realistic to Mainers. We are here to offer you quick and effective treatments to give you peace of mind. Mainly Pest, quality pest control service you can trust. What? Oh. Ow, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Fire, water, natural disasters, and even mold, we take care of them all, anytime, day or night, from cleanup to reconstruction. Tell your insurance provider you prefer Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Back at Herman High School underway, quarter number two. Herman with the basketball out of the break. They lead it by three. Gogan looked inside for Zach Tubbs. He's got five points in the ball game. Now they go back door to Gogan, and he turns and puts it off glass for two points. Nice execution there in that half-court set. 
Wyatt Gogan with his second bucket of the ball game. He's got four. Ellsworth looking to get back on the board. Nice take there by Javon James. Thought he was fouled. Shot rolled off. Another re uh, pardon me, another rebound for Eli Reed. Now Ellsworth ramping up the pressure. They double team Trey Brown over near the scorer's table. The ball's knocked out of bounds. Going to be off Ellsworth. Darby Barry back into the ball game, as is Austin Harris for Coach Austin and the Eagles. Ellsworth really just not finding any luck underneath that basket. How many times have they been under there and come away empty-handed? Shot is up and getting the roll is Trey Brown. Two more for the Hawks. They have a seven-point lead. Open is Inman. He'll try a three. That's too strong. Over the rim and into the hands of Wyatt Gogan. So a very slow start here for Ellsworth. Hunter Crawford back to the scorer's table. Eli Reed, high arching shot. Off the back of the iron, offensive rebound though. Tubbs pulls it out of there. Now Gogan will reset things in the half court here for the Hawks. Brown tries another three, that's gonna be short. Just grabs net into the hands of Harris, quickly up the floor. Darby had it briefly, open is Harris, and he nails the three. Line drive right there. So Austin Harris has all of the Ellsworth points. 11-7, Herman with the lead. Brown picked up by Inman. Brown out there with Gogan, Reed, Tubbs, and number 32, Isaac Parent, who has the basketball right now. They go inside, here's a little fall away from six, no good, weak side rebound, Tubbs, and the putback won't go. Ellsworth on the fly, here's Jackson Harris, he's been quiet so far. Hunter uh, Jackson, uh, pardon me, Curtis, Harris hasn't been quiet, Jackson Curtis has been quiet, but right there, Hunter Curtis with a bucket. Just inside the arc, there's Harris. And now Hunter Curtis with the jumper. That's going to take us to a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Let's take a look at some of the program histories for these two schools. Up first, we got Ellsworth here. Of course, they finished sixth last year in Class B North, lost in the regional semifinal versus Caribou, the eventual, eventual champion out of that class. Ellsworth, four-time state champion in their history. Class A, they took the 1953 uh, crown. Class B, 64-66. Six-time regional champions. Last time they appeared in the state game, 2016, a 16-point loss against Lake Region. All right, out of the timeout, Ellsworth with it. A little three-quarter court pressure here from the Eagles. Two-point lead for the Hawks. Finally into the front court. Wyatt Gogan with the basketball near midcourt. He's guarded by Austin Harris. Gogan open for three. Ball up and off, no good. And the rebound into the hands of Jackson Curtis. Ooh, a tricky pass there from Connor Crawford. Jumper, left side. That is Hunter Curtis. He's got four now. Earned an assist out of that nice little drop pass, I guess you would call it, leaving it behind. So Hunter Curtis with four. So far, Jackson Curtis kept off the board. Tied at 11. So the Eagles, after that slow start, now even. We're looking at a 7-0 run here for Ellsworth. Is that right? Herman had the 11-4 lead early on in the second quarter. Ellsworth starting to come alive a little bit. Good math there, Mark. All right. Take there by Eli Reed. He's going to be fouled by Jackson Curtis. So Eli Reed will be at the line for two, looking for his first point of the night, or afternoon, I should say. The Herman girls with a win over Ellsworth in the first varsity game here today, 50 to 30. This is game number five of the day here at Herman High School. He was here last night setting up. Rick Sinclair said he'd be back at about eight this morning for 
an 8.30 start in that uh, first game of the day. Two misses there by Eli Reed. So the score remains tied at 11. And Curtis goes to Darby Berry. Berry trying to thread the needle, but it's going to be picked off there by Zach Tubbs. Trying to get the ball inside to Jackson Curtis. Reed, skip pass to Henderson. They go inside Tubbs. Tubbs guarded by Jackson Curtis. Reed was trying to post up. Hogan saw nothing there, so Hawks continue to work it around the perimeter. Here's a drive left side by Reed, cut off at the pass. Tubbs in the right corner, spins, drives baseline, tries to seek a reverse layup in there, but it's off the bottom of the backboard. Here's the push by Austin Harris. That's too strong. Offensive rebound, Jackson Curtis. He is on the board now. Powerful put back there by number 32. Finally, Ellsworth able to take advantage of a second opportunity underneath their own basket. And don't be surprised if Jackson Curtis goes on a little run of his own right here. Here's Gogan into the lane, pulls up from eight. That one rims out, no good. And the rebound to Hunter Curtis. He'll bring it up, middle of the floor. Here's Parker, or pardon me, Austin Harris pulling up from 10 feet, and he drills it. Ellsworth run has now hit double digits, looking at 11-0 over the last, really, five minutes or so of this quarter. The first half for the senior, Austin Harris. He's got nine points now. Eamon McDonald getting set to come in for Ellsworth. A little contact there, no foul. Reed, right side, drives, dangerous pass. Picked off by Harris for Ellsworth. Two on one, Connor Crawford with the lay-in. And Herman needs a timeout. And we will take it as well. The Eagles are flying here in the second quarter. They lead it by six. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Connect. Inspire. Give. Share. Dream first. Because you can. First National Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Back at Herman High School, 17 to 11. Ellsworth with the lead. High School Basketball here on Ticket TV brought to you in part by Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. They are a local family-owned company that has been serving Maine communities for over 35 years. Visit them at bouchardcleaning.com. All right, it's going to be Herman Basketball out of the timeout. It's Ellsworth off to the tough start, but they have rebounded here in this second quarter. Herman trying to get some momentum back. Another dangerous pass there by the Hawks. Henderson able to come up with it. Here's a three ball from Reed. That's no good. Weak side rebound. Picked up there by McDonald. Quickly up ahead, and that's going to be a travel. Good effort there by Eli Reed stepping into the passing lane. He was backpedaling and could not put on the brakes quick enough. Yeah, unfortunate right there. Made the nice play. You saw it. You know, you can kind of see his thinking playing out right there. Catches the ball, knows he has to get rid of it quickly, just not quick enough to avoid that traveling call. Jackson Curtis fall away right side, and he rattles it home. 15-0 now the run for the Ellsworth Eagles. Jackson with four points now. They go inside to Tubbs, do the Hawks, little jump hook, good luck to that one. Got it up and over Hunter Curtis. So Zach Tubbs, now with seven for the Hawks, long three, Jackson Curtis gets it off the front of the rim and the long rebound taken by Henderson. And I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but it seems like that had to be at least five minutes between baskets for the Herman Hawks in this game. It was a major drought. That pass deflected there by Crawford. That's going to be backcourt as Brown 
right near that midcourt stripe, took a step in the backcourt, so another turnover here for the Hawks. Javon James back in for the Eagles. He's out there with Austin Harris, Darby Berry, Eamon McDonald, and Jackson Curtis. And we got a double dribble here by Austin Harris. Looks like he was going to try to pass it to a teammate. That teammate was not open. He put it back on the floor. So the Eagles give it right back. Through all the troubles for Herman, they're down by just six. So still a two-possession game. In it comes to Brown. Coming up, we've got the Jeans Electronics Halftime Show. We'll get you some first half highlights. Update the scoring for you as well. Of course, tourney time, not that far away. Some teams have played 17 games. They'll be wrapping it up this week in the regular season. Down to 20 seconds now. Brown. Hands it off to Gogan. Here's Henderson. Herman. Happy to work it down for the final shot. It's going to go to Eli Reed. His three is no good. And that is how the first half ends. Tough second quarter for the Herman Hawks as we go to the break. They trail the visitors, the Ellsworth Eagles, by a score of 19 to 13. We'll take a break. Back with the Jeans Electronics Halftime Report. That's coming up next. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Old Town Auto Parts is a locally owned and operated CarQuest store. Our friendly, knowledgeable staff has over 35 years of experience in the automotive parts business. Some of the unique products and services we offer at Old Town Auto Parts include custom hydraulic hose assemblies, marine, ATV and UTV, interstate batteries, import parts, auxiliary lighting, PVE supplies and hand tools. At Old Town Auto Parts, Great service is not an act. It's a habit. Visit us at 434 Stillwater Avenue in Old Town or give us a call at 827-4445. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at GeForce Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. Find the greatest selection at Maine's largest Chevy dealer, Quirk Chevrolet. Enjoy the comfort and safety of the economical Equinox SUV. Or drive away in Maine's official truck for getting to work, Chevy Silverado. It's your Chevy. Find it at Quirk. Be courageous. Be optimistic. Be involved. Our best days are ahead. Dream first, because you can. First National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Honey, where are the kids? I don't know. Water, fire, natural disasters, and even mold. We take care of them all, anytime, day or night, from cleanup to reconstruction. Tell your insurance provider you prefer Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Honey? Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center for laser tag, archery tag, and laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at G-Force Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. This will be the best winter ever. Make this the best winter ever in a brand new all-wheel drive 2020 Subaru Forester. Lease for only $2.99 per month. Find great selection and deals at QuirkSubaru.com. It's your Subaru. Find it at Quirk. Hi from Jeans, where you'll find better TV and more ways to enjoy it. Get 190 channels for $59.99 a month with DISH. Plus, get a free voice remote on us. And remember, we're also trained Nest Pros and deliver white glove service for all kinds of smart home solutions. Like the Google Nest Learning Thermostat. Or the Google Nest Cam, outdoor. Which lets you look after your home from anywhere so you can travel worry-free. So come and visit our newest location on Stillwater in Bangor. Or visit us online to find a local store near you. I'm Stephanie Euler, your local Bangor Edward Jones financial advisor. Financial investments are very important. 
but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Stephanie Euler is a proud sponsor of Basketball Night on the Ticket. Call 922-2382 or stop by my office at 670 Union Street, Bangor for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Sometimes life is a cluttered mess, but your car doesn't have to be. At Dean's Detailing, we have a variety of packages that will make your car look new again. Change your outlook. Book your appointment now at deansdetailing.com. Celebrating 50 years, Northeast Driving School is Greater Bangor's number one choice for driver's ed. The Northeast team is experienced, professional, and dedicated to its students. Sign up today for weekday or weekend courses at northeastdrivingschool.com. When you are running a business, the last thing you need is to be slowed down by computer issues. Computer Doctor of Hamden manages all your computer systems, including security, performance, updates, maintenance, troubleshooting, and backups. Don't wait until you have a problem. Leverage the Computer Doctor's expertise to get the most out of your IT budget. They offer on-site service or fully encrypted remote support that works with your schedule. Need PC or Mac repairs? Computer Doctor has you covered. Visit their office located in the Hannibal Hamlin Plaza, 60 Main Road, North Hamden, or give them a call at 862 862- 7019. Are you tired of dealing with pest issues? Mainly Pest treats both residential and commercial accounts for ants, roaches, bed bugs, and rodents with all the same attention to detail. We offer both traditional and eco-friendly plans to ensure you the best in quality of service. Mainly Pest is a Maine-based family-owned company, and we know what's important and realistic to Mainers. We are here to offer you quick and effective treatments to give you peace of mind. Mainly Pest, quality pest control services you can trust. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to G-Force Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at G-Force Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. Find the greatest selection at Maine's largest Chevy dealer, Quirk Chevrolet. Enjoy the comfort and safety of the economical Equinox SUV. Or drive away in Maine's official truck for getting to work, Chevy Silverado. It's your Chevy. Find it at Quirk. Welcome back to Herman. This is the Halftime Show. It's presented by Jeans Jeans Electronics. Jeans Electronics is the premier dish TV retailer in Maine. Check out Jeans' new location at 516 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Let's take a look at uh, some of the first half highlights. 19 to 13, the lead for Ellsworth. It took him a little time to get going. Guy who kind of got the drink stirred up a little bit was Austin Harris. Good take there. Good use of the left hand. Zach Tubbs, leading scorer in the ball game for Herman. A very long three from the right side. And a nice little backdoor play here. The turn and fire by Wyatt Gogan. Here's Harris again from long range. And that is good. And Hunter Curtis. It's Jackson Curtis, the main focus of the Herman defense here. Here's Hunter Curtis again, this time from the left side. A miss there by Harris. And this was the first basket for Jackson Curtis in the first half, put back. And once again, Austin Harris, a little pull-up jumper there. Nails it from the left side. And now a two-on-one break. Nice bounce pass, taking it in stride as Connor Crawford. And if you're paying attention here, a lot of Ellsworth highlights strung together. That's because they went on a 15-0 run in the middle of that second quarter. Really lasted most of the second quarter. Herman finally was able to break through, but 19-13 at the half. Herman hoping they survived the onslaught by Ellsworth in the second quarter. All right, so while we have a little time here in the Jeans Electronics Halftime Show, we took a look at the Ellsworth program history in the first half. Let's take a look at the Herman program history. Of course, over the last couple of years, uh, barely a loss. They've had some tough uh, going here recently. They've lost two in a row and three of four, but last year, 18-0, went in first in Class B North but then lost the Caribou 43 to 40 in the North final. And that regional final loss snapped a 42 game win streak for Mark Reed's program. They were, excuse me, the 2018 Class B state champion and two time regional champs in 2000 and 2018. Seven tournament wins over the course 
of the last three seasons. All right, we're going to sneak in a timeout here. We'll come back, get you updated on the scoring. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust, community banking at its best since 1918. Connect. Inspire. Give. Share. Dream first. Because you can. First National Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. natural disasters, and even mold. We take care of them all, anytime, day or night, from cleanup to reconstruction. Tell your insurance provider you prefer Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Old Town Auto Parts is a locally owned and operated CarQuest store. Our friendly, knowledgeable staff has over 35 years of experience in the automotive parts business. Some of the unique products and services we offer at Old Town Auto Parts include custom hydraulic hose assemblies, marine, ATV and UTV, interstate batteries, import parts, auxiliary lighting, PVE supplies and hand tools. At Old Town Auto Parts, great service is not an act. It's a habit. Visit us at 434 Stillwater Avenue in Old Town or give us a call at 827-4445. Your local sports source is 92.9 The Ticket. Your favorite shows and your favorite teams. Stay in the game. On the air at 92.9theticket.com and with the new Ticket app. Main sports leader is 92.9 The Ticket. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust. Community banking at its best since 1918. Back in Herman, Jim Churchill, Mark Paulette. We had a plethora of first half highlights for you. Highlights are brought to you by Old Town Auto Parts. Old Town Auto Parts, a locally owned and operated CarQuest store located at 434 Stillwater Avenue in Old Town at Old Town Auto Parts. Great service is not an act, it's a habit. Ellsworth with the basketball as we get things going here in half number two, long three here by Jackson Curtis, that's off. Weak side rebound by Darby Berry, and then he loses it out of bounds after the putback will not drop. Scoring in the first half, Austin Harris leading Ellsworth with nine. Four for Jackson Curtis, four for Hunter Curtis, and two for Connor Crawford. For the Herman boys, seven for Zach Tubbs, four for Wyatt Gogan, and two for Trey Brown. So a low scoring first half. Let's see what happens here in half number two. Henderson out top to Brown. Eli Reed on the far side. Here's Gogan with it. Crossover dribble down the right side of the lane. Shot up, no good, but a foul coming against the Eagles. Really, that's what Herman has to do here in the second half. Just attack because you're not getting much going with your offensive game. See if you can get into the lane, draw some of those fouls, and then head to the charity stripe. It's going to be the second personal on Hunter Curtis. And Gogan at the line. Nails the free throw, so he's up to five points. Cuts the deficit to five. Second one is in and out. So one for two at the line for Gogan. Rebound to Jackson Curtis. Here comes Hunter Curtis. Austin Harris directing traffic. Curtis into the lane, puts up a floater, a little off balance there, but contorted his body, got those shoulders square, and put it off the window for two. Nice move. Yeah, pretty move right there, using the jump to get position, but next thing he knew, he was about four feet left of the hoop. He had to contort his body to get his shoulders straight and get that shot off. This is the biggest lead in the ball game for Ellsworth, trying to make it two in a row against Herman here in this 2019-2020 season. Nice little look off there by Eli Reed, and then he kept on going and lays it in with the left hand. 
And again, if you're Herman, for all the struggles you've had offensively in this game, it's a five-point game with six minutes left in this third quarter. First two of the afternoon for Eli Reed. Hunter Curtis. Inside it goes to Connor Crawford. Barry had it briefly. Here's a fall away from Jackson Curtis near the left elbow. Rolls off, no good. And the rebound to Brown. Again, Herman playing without Isaac Varney, one of the best players in the North period and in the state, but he's got a foot injury. Here's a three up by Henderson. That's wide of the mark. Tubbs cannot save it in, so it'll be Ellsworth basketball. Some good ball movement on that possession for the Hawks, but they just weren't able to find the open shot. It seemed like every time they were able to get a pass, looked like they were going to have an open look. There was an Ellsworth defender there waiting for him. Ellsworth with a five-point lead in the ball. Here's Harris just inside the arc. He's got two more, so... Austin Harris has really been the man for the Eagles. Got them going, and he continues with a bucket here in the second half. He's into double digits now with 11 points. Lead back to seven for the Eagles. Lob pass inside for Tubbs. Pushed off his spot. Now he's got it in the near corner. Pass off the fingertips of Reed, taken away by Crawford. He steams towards the hole and lays it in. And a chance to make it a three-point play. Saw the athleticism right there for Connor Crawford. Yeah, I mean, you look at the replay right here. It looks like he's about to lose possession on three different instances on this drive. He's able to just get enough of a grip. I mean, even as he goes up with that ball, he's almost just guiding it with his hands around the ball, floating through the air. Still in doubt as that ball went around the rim a couple of times, but he does complete the three-point play. So Crawford now with five points for the Eagles. And they've got a 10-point lead. There's Henderson. Those were trying to double-team near midcourt. Henderson able to escape. Reed, another little floater with that left hand. It's going to go up and off the top of the backboard. Not touched by Ellsworth. So the Eagles get it back. Just a tad too high on the floater there. Jackson Curtis out beyond the arc on the near side. Skips it right to Darby Berry. Harris thought about the three, pulls it down to the deck. Now he gets it back. He'll try this three, leans into it, and drills it. He's really just got a line drive for a three-point shot, doesn't he? That thing doesn't have much arc on it. He doesn't jump straight up either. All of his no, shots leans into jumping it. Towards, the, towards the rim. And it's going to go off the hands of Eli Reed. Turnover Herman. So Austin Harris now with 14 points to lead the way for Ellsworth. Seems like just a minute ago, too, we were talking about how Herman has to feel good for their offensive struggles. Five-point difference in this game. Now you look down. Ellsworth's on an 8-0 run. The lead is bloated to 13 points. Hunter Curtis trying to extend that run, but can't do it. Rebound to Tubbs. Now Harris, or pardon me, Hunter Curtis harassing the Hawks in backcourt. And here's Reed losing his balance. Tried to bounce it to a teammate, but it goes across the end line. Yeah, I think he was expecting his teammate there to keep cutting to the basket, coming towards him. A little bit of an angled pass. And that one just went out of bounds as the other Hawks stood in the corner. Harris goes to Crawford. Ellsworth extending the lead without a lot of production from Jackson Curtis. A miss there by Harris from long range. Eventually gets the basketball back, dribbles it to the right side. Here's a very long three for Jackson Curtis. Second chance opportunities, really one of the big differences in this ball game. You see Ellsworth, every missed shot, they're under the basket, either grabbing the offensive rebound or tipping it out to a waiting teammate. That time coming away with a deep three because of it. And some contact there on the pass as you see the Jackson Curtis very long three. I don't think he likes the ones that are close to that arc. Seems like he's always taking a shot five or 
six feet beyond the three-point line. If you got the range, why not show it off? That foul going against Hunter Curtis. So right now, Ellsworth doubling up on Herman, 32 to 16. Fox needs something here. Feel better about uh, this situation here on their home court. Roger Reed on that bench, longtime head coach at the high school level. Tons of success at Bangor. Here's a pull up jumper, Jaden Henderson, with a much needed deuce right there for the Hawks. And I'm really testing my math here, but before that jumper by Herman, you're looking at a 13 3 start to this quarter for Ellsworth. They finished the first half on a 15 2 run. That tells me that's a 28 5 span between the second and the third quarters. Well, I appreciate the effort. I'm sure it Just roll could it. be right. I'm sure it's at least close, but I, I wouldn't necessarily put money on it. But Yeah, neither would I. Bottom line is Ellsworth has dominated here over the last several minutes. Two big spans, one in the first half, one in the second. There's Eamon McDonald. He's into the ball game. Also out there for Ellsworth is Brett Bragdon, sophomore guard, number 23. Dangerous pass there, picked off by Henderson. Henderson trying to go all the way to the hole, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds there by Bragdon. Bragdon getting the hands in there. I thought he may have knocked it off the leg, but not the case. Gogan dribbles out to the wing. Now Henderson. Tubbs he had a three in the first half from the right corner. They go to Gogan inside the lane. Kick out Reed. High arching three. And he's got it. And that's the perfect possession if you're Herman. Ball movement. You get the open shot at the end of it. A three on top of that. You need a couple more of those to chip into this lead. Still Ellsworth by 11. Five straight points for Herman. And a dangerous pass there. Henderson a little bit late getting into that passing lane, or he would have been headed to the rim at the other end of the floor. A miss there by Jackson Curtis. Rebound by Tubbs. So a tad of momentum right now for the Hawks. Henderson. Tubbs in the corner. Go inside to Reed. Reed spins. Jump hook is good. Eli Reed taking it up. That is seven points here in the second half for Reed. He didn't have a point in the first half. Herman responding with their biggest run since the first quarter, seven straight to cut this thing back to single digits. Pendulum has swung here at Herman High School. Not all the way back for the Hawks, but something to build off. And now Ellsworth, as we near the end of the third quarter, looking for the final shot. And why not? They have a nine-point lead. McDonald out to Jackson Curtis. Long three again, and that one is short. And the ball is going to be wide left. It's not going to be good, even if it went. And at the end of three, Ellsworth, 32, Herman, 23. We'll take a timeout. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the... I'm Stephanie Euler, your local Bangor Edward Jones financial advisor. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why Stephanie Euler is a proud sponsor of Basketball Night on the Ticket. Call 922-2382 or stop by my office at 670 Union Street, Bangor for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. This will be the best winter ever. Make this the best winter ever in a... First National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Herman High School. Jim Churchill, Mark Paulette, and our crew here this afternoon. Jay Baines, and with Max Pottle, and Jacob Hinchliff. Thanks for joining us here on Ticket TV. 
Basketball, high school basketball here on Ticket TV, brought to you in part by your local Tradewinds Market. Fuel up at your local Tradewinds, where every gallon you buy supports local cancer care. Out of the timeout, the pressure in backcourt by Ellsworth. Herman able to break it. Here's Henderson teeing up a three. No good. Crashing the boards was Gogan. And a foul from behind. It's going to be the third team foul against Ellsworth. Gogan will take it out of bounds. Gogan, of course, stellar on the football field. Eli reads three, bounds high up and over the backboard. So Ellsworth basketball. Top scores in the ball game for Herman. Eli Reed with nine, all of them coming here in the second half. Austin Harris with 14 for Ellsworth. Javon James back into the ball game. He has the basketball now. A handoff to Crawford. Darby Berry, entry pass to Jackson Curtis. Tubbs, a physical presence, has done a nice job defending Jackson Curtis here today. Problem with that, of course, you can back him away from the hoop as much as you want. He can hit it, though, as we saw in that third quarter, going back five feet beyond the arc. Jackson Curtis, nine points in the ball game. Of course, he surpassed the 1,000 mark. Along with Trey Montigny. You see Curtis, every time he touches the ball, he's looking for a shot, and then a little voice in his head tells him, hey, there's four and a half minutes left in this game. We're up by nine. Let's work this possession a little more. A ceremony at Ellsworth this past week where Montigny on the girls' side and Hunter Curtis on the boys' side, they had the pet band there, and they got to cut down the respective nets where they scored their 1,000th point. Herman's got to be able to put together one of those little spurts we saw in the third quarter, like where they scored seven straight points. You got to be able to get this thing down back to a possession or two because time is of the essence right now. Coming up on four minutes left. There's Gogan on that back door play. Can't convert, though. Nice Ball feed. in and out. That works. We saw that in the first half. But they come up empty on that attempt. Opportunity missed there for the Hawks. Three fifty left to go in the fourth, and Ellsworth happy to salt away some time and work things for a quality shot. Darby Berry drives right baseline floater, and it's no good. We're going to get a foul on Herman before that collision near the lane. High School Basketball and Ticket TV is brought to you by Greenway Equipment Sales in Bangor and Ellsworth. Nothing runs like a deer. Run with us online at greenwayequipment.com. Foul before the shot right there. Ellsworth taking it out. Nice set play right there. Bounce pass underneath the basket and easy two as the Eagles extend their lead back to double digits. Four points in the first half for Hunter Curtis. He's got four and a half, number two. 36, 25. Time running out on the Hawks. Brown out top, nothing inside. Left wing, Gogan. He's guarded closely by James. Reed is going to be picked up by Jackson Curtis. Anderson thought about the three, takes it to the free throw line. That one rims out. Ball bounds around, finally into the hands of Javon James. Under three minutes to play here. Herman is on the cusp of some very unfamiliar territory. It would be a three-game losing skit for them coming into this game. Losses against Orno and Foxcroft. And like we've talked about, they're dangling right on the edge of that 3-4 seed. Could be in jeopardy of missing out on a first-round bye in the Class B tournament. Ellsworth, if they hold on here, they'll pick up a, a bundle of points. Maybe we can bring those standings up again here when we get a break. And there's Jackson Curtis picking up two more. And Jackson now up to 11.
And a timeout called here by Mark Reed. And we will step aside as well. Ellsworth up by 13. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. When you are running a business, the last thing you need is to be slowed down by computer issues. Computer Doctor of Hamden manages all your computer systems, including security, performance, updates, maintenance, troubleshooting, and backups. Don't wait until you have a problem. Leverage the Computer Doctor's expertise to get the most out of your IT budget. They offer on-site service or fully encrypted remote support that works with your schedule. Need PC or Mac repairs? Computer Doctor has you covered. Visit their office located in the Hannibal Hamlin Plaza. 60 Main Road, North Hamden, or give them a call at 862-7019. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at GeForce Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. Back at Herman High School, Jim Churchill, Mark Paulette. Home team trailing in this one, as we mentioned, getting back here to the Class B North Heel Point standings. See Ellsworth, near a goodly distance behind Caribou. This late in the season, they're not going to catch the Vikings, but they can hold on to that number two spot and certainly secure a first round bye. Feeling good about their situation here with two minutes left to go, and that ball is swatted out of there by Jackson Curtis. High school basketball here on Ticket TV as we take a look at this replay first. There's the block by Curtis. Looks like the Zion block from a couple nights ago when he sent it five rows into the stands. Three around and out by Henderson. And now, here's a steal by Tubbs as the Curtises could not connect. Gogan at the other end is going to get fouled. He'll be at the line for two. As I started to say, basketball night on Ticket TV is brought to you by G-Force Adventures in Brewer. It's fun for the whole family. Now on Wednesday, they opened up their two lanes of axe throwing. And coming up tomorrow, Super Bowl Sunday, quite a deal as Gogan can't get the first free throw to drop. They have a 300-inch television there. So you can go watch the Super Bowl, all the arena games, uh, admission, no charge. All the bouncing for the kids and unlimited pizza for $9.95. Not a terrible deal if you're looking for something to do tomorrow afternoon and evening. Wyatt Gogan 0 for 2 at the line, so he's 1 for 4 at the free throw line in this one. 120 left to go. Oh, wide open underneath. Darby Berry puts it at home. Does not get much easier than that. For Darby, that's his first two of the afternoon. Three by Gogan off the front of the rim. Rising high to rip it down is Hunter Curtis and a foul in backcourt. So this one is going to go to the Eagles. 15 point lead here late. Ellsworth basketball. Jerry will take it out. And a two-handed pass wide open. And slamming it home is Jackson Curtis. Well, the Eagles with the deep bomb right there. And here's Reed and a foul. It's going to be against Jackson Curtis. Let's take another look at that slam. Two steps from the free throw line, throwing it down with two hands. See the Ellsworth bench jumping up there in the background. They know they have this one in the bag and probably taking a big step towards locking down that two seed here in Class B North. High School Basketball and Ticket TV brought to you in part by Mainly Pest. They are a main base family owned company offering residential and commercial services. Check them out at mainlypest.com. So the free throw, a good right there, makes it 42 to 27. Got a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Jim Churchill, Mark Paulette, stay tuned after the game for the post game show. And we're going to be right back here at Herman on Monday night as the Herman girls will host the MDI girls. And then on Tuesday, 
will be at Redberry Gym for Hamden at Bangor in that rematch. High School Basketball brought to you by Stephanie Euler. She is your local Edward Jones financial advisor. Call 922-2382 or visit Stephanie at 670 Union Street in Bangor. Brett Bragdon with the basketball goes to Austin Harris. And now the Eagles looking to play a little keep away here. Eli Reed looking to the Herman bench, wanting to know if Dad wants the Hawks to foul here or just let things play out. 31.7 on the clock here at Herman High School. Yeah, not totally sure Mark Reed called for that foul there. I was watching him. He wasn't moving while Eli was looking for instruction, and then the foul came anyways. Here's Darby Berry wide open. He's got two more. Four for Darby. If you ask him, probably two of the easier baskets he's had in his high school career, the last couple possessions for Ellsworth. Aiden Henderson with the bucket. Ten seconds. Herman just, uh, Ellsworth, pardon me, just taking the knee on this one. Victory formation for the Eagles as they pick up their second win against Herman here in this 2019-2020 season. It's much closer in the first affair down in Ellsworth. Of course, Herman not playing with Isaac Varney in this one. He's out with a foot injury, a major loss for Mark Reed's team. But Ellsworth will take the victory back home. They defeat the Hawks 44-29. to So a split in the varsity games here this afternoon at Herman as the Herman Hawk girls defeated Ellsworth 50-30. to We will take a break right here. When we come back, it'll be time for the postgame show. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust, community banking at its best since 1918. Hi from Jeans, where you'll find better TV and more ways to enjoy it. Get 190 channels for $59.99 a month with Dish. Plus, get a free voice remote on us. And remember, we're also trained Nest Pros and deliver white glove service for all kinds of smart home solutions. Like the Google Nest Learning Thermostat. Or the Google Nest Cam Outdoor, which lets you look after your home from anywhere so you can travel worry-free. So come and visit our newest location on Stillwater in Bangor, or visit us online to find a local store near you. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at GeForce Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. Stay in the game with Maine Sports Leader 92.9 The Ticket. Start your weekdays with the morning line at 6 a.m. The Dale Duff Show is live and local at 3, and the drive is on your ride from 4 to 6. Your home team, 92.9 The Ticket. Find the greatest selection at Maine's largest Chevy dealer, Quirk Chevrolet. Enjoy the comfort and safety of the economical Equinox SUV. Or drive away in Maine's official truck for getting to work, Chevy Silverado. It's your Chevy. Find it at Quirk. This will be the best winter ever. Make this the best winter ever in a brand new all-wheel drive 2020 Subaru Forester. Lease for only $2.99 per month. Find great selection and deals at QuirkSubaru.com. It's your Subaru. Find it at Quirk. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust, community banking at its best since 1918. Sometimes life is a cluttered mess, but your car doesn't have to be. At Dean's Detailing, we have a variety of packages that will make your car look new again. Change your outlook. Book your appointment now at deansdetailing.com. Celebrating 50 years, Northeast Driving School is Greater Bangor's number one choice for driver's ed. The Northeast team is experienced, professional, and dedicated to its students. Sign up today for weekday or weekend courses at northeastdrivingschool.com. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at GeForce Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. Honey, where are the kids? I don't know. Ah! Uh! Wow.
Water, fire, natural disasters, and even mold, we take care of them all. Anytime, day or night, from cleanup to reconstruction. Tell your insurance provider you prefer Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Honey? Ah. Old Town Auto Parts is a locally owned and operated CarQuest store. Our friendly, knowledgeable staff has over 35 years of experience in the automotive parts business. Some of the unique products and services we offer at Old Town Auto Parts include custom hydraulic hose assemblies, marine, ATV and UTV, interstate batteries, import parts, auxiliary lighting, PVE supplies, and hand tools. At Old Town Auto Parts, great service is not an act. It's a habit. Visit us at 434 Stillwater Avenue in Old Town or give us a call at 827-4445. Are you tired of dealing with pest issues? Mainly Pest treats both residential and commercial accounts for ants, roaches, bed bugs, and rodents with all the same attention to detail. We offer both traditional and eco-friendly plans to ensure you the best in quality of service. Mainly Pest is a Maine-based, family-owned company, and we know what's important and realistic to Mainers. We are here to offer you quick and effective treatments to give you peace of mind. Mainly Pest, quality pest control services you can trust. Find the greatest selection at Maine's largest Chevy dealer, Quirk Chevrolet. Enjoy the comfort and safety of the economical Equinox SUV. Or drive away in Maine's official truck for getting to work, Chevy Silverado. It's your Chevy. Find it at Quirk. And welcome back to Herman High School postgame show here on Ticket TV. And Jim Churchill joined by Peter Austin, head coach of the victorious uh, Ellsworth Eagles. And coach, we were just talking off air, a bit of a slow start here on the road. Obviously had that dramatic win at home against Herman. Right. Uh, just talk about how your team developed over the course of that first half and obviously the strong run at the end of the first half and on into uh, the early part of the third quarter. Sure. Uh, well, first of all, it's, you know, it's Herman's defense. They play great team defense. and. You know, we weren't actually, uh, and then they played a box and one to start with, we weren't actually uh, ready for that. But uh, once we got the ball where we wanted the ball, we, we started moving the ball a little bit better. Austin got open, and uh, so did Hunter, and they were just making shots from 15 in. Yeah, Herman did a relatively good job on Jackson Curtis. I have him for 11 in this ball game. Maybe he had 13. I might have got too yeah, excited over that dunk. <laughs> but, I think uh, he had 13. So. Anyway, they did a pretty good job keeping him in check, but it's got to be good for you as a coach to see other players like Austin Harris and it is. Hunter Curtis stepping it, up. It is, and that's what we've been getting the last three or four, five games. We're getting a, a better balance. Um, you know, we usually get a contribution from the bench. We didn't get as much offense from the bench tonight, but, you know, Connor Crawford had a big bucket, so... Um, you know, yeah, we're just sharing the ball and everybody is, is scoring. So that helps Jackson out a lot. Let's talk about Class B North as we get ever closer to tournament time. Uh, Caribou obviously defending champion at the top of the heap there in the number one spot. You guys are holding down the number two spot. Obviously Herman with a big time injury to Arzik Varney. Right. But Washington Academy kind of surprising people at 12 and 5. You saw them in the first game of the year. Yeah, yeah, we split with them this year and uh, you know, they're 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 a good team. So, you know, and I was I tell all the coaches, I says, you know, anybody can beat anybody on a given night. Not even it's not even 2 through 12, but 2 through 14, 15 I'm on a given night that, you know, if they're not ready to play, they can beat you. And uh, just who you got in the down have, the stretch here? We have MDI t next week and that's it. All right, well, if you're going to end the season on a resounding <laughs> note, yes, no either way. way to do it, right? That's right. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations on the win. Thank and you. We'll see you down the line. All righty. That's Peter Austin, head coach of the Ellsworth Eagles, joining us here in the Hawks Nest. We'll take a timeout. Back with more in the postgame show. Highlights are up next. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust, community banking at its best since 1918. Connect. Inspire. Give. Share. Dream first. Because you can. First National Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hi, from Jeans, where you'll find better TV and more ways to enjoy it. Get 190 channels for $59.99 a month with Dish. Plus, get a free voice remote on us. And remember, we're also trained Nest Pros and deliver white glove service for all kinds of smart home solutions. Like the Google Nest Learning Thermostat. Or the Google Nest Cam, outdoor. Which lets you look after your home from anywhere so you can travel worry-free. 
So come and visit our newest location on Stillwater in Bangor, or visit us online to find a local store near you. Water, natural disasters, and even mold, we take care of them all, any time, day or night, from cleanup to reconstruction. Tell your insurance provider you prefer Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. I'm Stephanie Euler, your local Bangor Edward Jones financial advisor. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. That's why... Stephanie Euler is a proud sponsor of Basketball Night on the Ticket. Call 922-2382 or stop by my office at 670 Union Street, Bangor for all your investment needs. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. When you are running a business, the last thing you need is to be slowed down by computer issues. Computer Doctor of Hamden manages all your computer systems, including security, performance, updates, maintenance, troubleshooting, and backups. Don't wait until you have a problem. Leverage the Computer Doctor's expertise to get the most out of your IT budget. They offer on-site service or fully encrypted remote support that works with your schedule. Need PC or Mac repairs? Computer Doctor has you covered. Visit their office located in the Hannibal Hamlin Plaza, 60 Main Road, North Hamden, or give them a call at 862 862- 7019. Take a break from school, screens, and routines. Play a game in real life. Grab your friends and come to GeForce Adventure Center in Brewer for laser tag, archery tag, and paintless paintball. Experience the fun at GeForce Adventure Center, Wilson Street Brewer. For my team, for myself, and for my biggest fan, I will do my best today. Katahdin Trust, community banking at its best since 1918. Welcome back to the post-game show here at Herman High School. 44-29, to the final. Ellsworth with the win over the Herman Hawks. High School Basketball here on Ticket TV, brought to you in part by United Technologies Center. They are Maine's largest technical high school with over 20 programs. Check them out at utcforme.org. And Basketball Night on Ticket TV is presented by First National Bank. Dream first because you can. First National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And High School Basketball also presented by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights uh, from this Ellsworth Eagle win. Again, 44-29 to is the final as the... Herman Girls defeated Ellsworth in the first varsity game of the day, 50 to 30. This was a five game day here at Herman High School and things are uh, finally wrapping up. Again, we're gonna be back here as we look at some of the highlights. Austin Harris kind of was the man early in this ball game. And here's uh, Jackson Curtis, again held to 13 points, but a long three there. That was his only three. That one coming in the second half. And the Hawks trying to stay in the game. Eli Reed. He is, was hitting him from the inside and the outside as uh, Eli finished up with nine points, all of them coming in the second half. Look at that follow after the long jump hook missed by Reed. Followed his own shot, got to it, laid it in, and there's Jackson Curtis doing it at both ends. Swatting that away, Darby Berry. Getting open late underneath the basket and putting it off the window. And here is a long pass by Barry to Jackson. Curtis was thinking one hand, then went with two for the flush. And uh, an exclamation point right there for Ellsworth in this win. Let's take a look at the uh, final scoring in this one. First for the victorious Eagles leading the way. It was Austin Harris, 14 points in total, nine of them coming in the first half. Jackson Curtis, as I mentioned, finishing up with 13. Eight points for Hunter Curtis, five for Connor Crawford, and four for Darby Berry. For the Herman Hawks, Eli Reed leading the way with those nine points in the second half. Six for Wyatt Gogan, uh, also seven for Zach Tubbs. All of his points coming in the first half. Four points for Jaden Henderson and two for Trey Brown. 44 to 29 is the final. 
And again, looking ahead to our Ticket TV schedule, on Monday evening we'll be back here at Herman MDI. The MDI girls coming to town to take on the Herman girls. And then on Tuesday night we'll be at Redberry Gymnasium for the rematch between the Hamden Academy Broncos from Class A against the Bangor Rams from Class AA. Looking forward to those games as well. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast here today. I want to thank our entire crew, my broadcast partner, Mark Paulette, who also uh, did a little directing here as well. Jay Baines, our technical supervisor and uh, part-time director on camera today. Uh, Jacob Hinchliffe, Max Pottle, along with Jay. Graphics, courtesy of Mark Paulette and Paul Warner. And uh, Beth Sables was due to be here. But uh, she had a, an important meeting come up, so Mark Paulette stepping in. Thanks to Mark for his work here this afternoon. I'm Jim Churchill giving you the final score for the final time. Ellsworth 44, Herman 29. This has been High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Basketball Night on the Ticket is presented by Quirk Auto Group. It's your car. Find it at Quirk. First National Bank. Dream first because you can. Basketball Night is also brought to you by G-Force Adventures. Coastal Auto Parts. Bouchard Cleaning and Restoration. Greenway Equipment Sales. United Technology Center. Stephanie Euler, Edward.